Hello, my name is Brent, and I'm a technical account manager here at the AWS office in Pittsburgh. I'm going to demonstrate how to integrate an API Gateway REST API with an application load balancer. Let's get started. Before we dive into the integration of an API Gateway REST API with a public application load balancer, there are a couple resources that must be set up. First, you need a public application load balancer and its DNS name. Next, you need an API Gateway REST API resource with an HTTP method defined. Let's get both of these set up so we can integrate the API Gateway REST API with an application load balancer. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the API Gateway Console. In the API Gateway Console, choose the API that you want to integrate with the application load balancer. In the Resources pane, find the resource that you want to set up. Then select the HTTP method that your API uses. When it's selected, the Integration Request pane appears so you can configure the integration request for this resource and method. In the Integration Request pane, for Integration Type, choose HTTP. Here's something to understand about the Integration Request Type. If you're looking to pass the entire API request and its parameters to the backend application load balancer, you can create an HTTP proxy integration. There are links in the article associated with this video that explain how to set up each of these. In the endpoint URL field, enter either the application load balancer's default DNS name or custom DNS name and the configured protocol of its listener. In my case, I have an application load balancer that's configured with an HTTP listener on port 80. This requires the DNS name of the application load balancer to be appended with colon 80 forward slash as shown on the screen. When setting up this integration with the application load balancer, you must be sure that you create an HTTP listener or HTTPS listener that's using the port and listener rules of your choice. For an application load balancer configured with an HTTPS listener, the associated certificate must be issued by an API Gateway supported certificate authority. If your application load balancer is required to use a certificate issued by a private certificate authority or a self-signed certificate, then you must set the insecure skip verification property to true in the integrations TLS config. Choose Save. Finally, expand the Actions menu and deploy the API. You can now test the API Gateway REST API that you integrated with your public application load balancer. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.